Okay, let's take a little more detailed look into the basic accounting equation. So we've learned already that the basic accounting equation are assets equals liabilities plus equity. And remember, our assets are things that we own. <coughs> Excuse me. Liabilities are going to be things that we owe, and our equity are going to be um, the difference between what we own and what we owe. And remember, that was our AL, assets equal liabilities plus equity. So let's look at assets a little bit further. So I've already said those are things that we own. Oops, sorry about that. Own. And examples of things that companies own. So they own cash, accounts receivable. Accounts receivable are when our customers owe us money. So for example, they buy a product from us and we will say we'll send you a bill in 30 days. Those monies that our customers owe us are called accounts receivable. We could also have notes receivable. Notes receivable is a little stronger uh, position. It has, it's in writing, it has interest and a due date attached to it typically. Inventory or other things companies owe and um, prepaid items, things like supplies, prepaid insurance fall into that category. Companies also owe things like equipment, buildings, land. We have something called intangibles here. These are things that uh, people can't touch, pot, patents, copyrights, trademarks. And you'll see here we have a header called current assets and long term are non-current assets. So current assets are things that are expected to be used or consumed within one year. Non-current assets last longer than a year. Obviously equipment, buildings, land, all those tend to last longer than a year. Cash, accounts, receivable, inventory, we expect to use or consume those within the upcoming year. Doesn't mean we won't replace them, but uh, that's just how we look at it. Liabilities, uh, I gave you a brief definition, or things that we owe. So those are claims against our assets, and those would be outstanding debts and obligations. And we have notes payable, similar to notes receivable, sometimes students confuse the two, so a payable is a liability. We have to pay someone else, and um, that's an obligation. A note has interest in the due date attached to it. It's in writing. Accounts payable is a little less formal, so this would be with a supplier. So for example, we go to Staples and we buy some merchandise, they send us a bill. That's an accounts payable. So current liabilities are going to be due within the current year long-term but liabilities are going to be due outside of the current year and things like notes payable again mortgages payable those are secured by an asset bonds payable any kind of pension liabilities or deferred taxes so we can even have let's say a five-year um, note payable the portion that's due this year will be current the other four years will be long term so again that's an important concept for us in accounting so we know what debts and obligations we have due coming soon rather quickly. And then that last component of equity we said was our, our, our equity, which is the difference between what we own and what we owe, our assets and our liabilities. And we can further break down the stockholders equity section, which is what I want to get into next. Okay. Now, with accounting, it's important that our basic accounting equations stay in balance. So with every transaction that we do, we're going to have to make sure that equation stays in balance. So I said to you a second ago that we were going to go ahead and expand that basic accounting equation. So our stockholders equity section here, our equity, can be broken into two components. One is common stock, um, which is also considered contributed capital, so money is contributed to us from our owners plus retained earnings. And I liken retained earnings to a company's savings account. So it's monies that they've earned in the business over and above what they've actually spent. And so that retained earnings actually gets created, that savings account, by taking a company's revenues, subtracting their expenses, and subtracting any dividends, any monies paid out to um, their owners of their business. So let's look at each component a little bit more in more detail. So I mentioned to you a second ago that that company's common stock were monies invested by the stockholders, and that will actually increase our stockholders' equity. Retained earnings is also any income, which is our revenues minus our expenses that's not distributed back to stockholders. That's why I, I liken it to a company's savings account. 
Now dividends, if you're not familiar, so if you own stock in a company and the company makes money, they may share that income or earnings back with you in the form of dividends. So they'll pay you a certain amount back on that, on that ownership claim that you have. We also have something called drawings. These are for sole proprietors and partnerships, and it's very similar to dividends. The owners can just take monies out of the business. Now both of those, drawings and dividends, do decrease our stockholders' equity. Also, I've been talking about revenues, and you may not completely understand what revenues are. Revenues are how a company makes their monies. So Walmart makes money by selling merchandise, groceries, and, and other types of merchandise. Um, a tax or accounting firm makes their money by providing tax and accounting services. Uh, a car dealer is going to make their money by selling cars. So all those would be revenues to that particular company. And then we incur expenses, or companies incur expenses. In order to generate revenues, you have to incur some expenses, whether it's the um, employees expense, utilities expense, rent expense, all kinds of expenses, expenses for our inventory. Those all decrease our owner's equity. So let's go back up here and I'm going to write, write all those on here for you. Okay, so we have our basic accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus equity, which is further broken down into common stock and retained earnings. And then retained earnings is further broken down into revenues minus expenses minus dividends. So I mentioned to you earlier, let's just um, cover what happens here. So stockholders' equity is increased by retained earnings in common stock. And it's also increased by revenues. However, do you see these negatives here on the slide? That means that expenses decrease my equity and dividends are going to decrease our equity. So expenses are in dividends are going to be monies taken out of the business to pay for expenses and to pay out to our stockholders to keep them happy. So those decrease our stockholders' equity. That's a very important component. And remember, again, in just a few minutes, we're going to look at some transactions. This basic accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus equity, our ale has to stay in balance. Everything we do, this equation has to stay in balance. 